Hi, my name's Amy. I'm Vice President of Education at the Students' Union at the University of Hertfordshire. So I'm here to represent your academic interests, but what that basically means is I'm here to sort of voice your opinion on all things academic. So it might be problems with timetabling or difficulties with big gaps in between your lectures and also academic standards and things like that are of utmost importance to my role. So I've got green eyes um, and they're actually the only eye shade that um, changes colour dependent on weather and mood apparently. <laughs> so I love the sense of community that the Shoot Union has. Um, in first year I was quite isolated and a bit lonely at times like quite a lot of uh, students are in first year but I uh, became a freshman angel and that was really fun I met some cool friends um, and then I started working there and joined some societies so um, that sort of community feel is what I love most at the SU. I'd love to do something creative. I've always wanted to learn how to do like professional photography and also the editing side of it and like to accompany that as well I'd really like to sort of learn how to use some of the Adobe stuff like Illustrator in InDesign because um, I really want to sort of learn how to make different logos and posters and different sort of marketing materials so I'd definitely invest my time in that. So some small things that make my day better are sunshine, I really love it when it's sunny and the skies are blue um, and also flowers. Um, but also friendly people. I just love, I'm naturally myself really smiley um, and also cake and chocolate cake, just all cake. <laughs> uh, to be yourself. I think it's quite easy to fall into the trap of trying to be someone else or to fit in with how other people might be that you're surrounding yourself with. But there's so many different types of students here at Hearts. Um, so just be yourself. Maybe going to the beach, but number one would have to be a spa weekend. So all you can eat breakfast, just being horizontal all day and eating like cake in the afternoon tea. Um, yeah, spa weekend, like lazing around in the road. <laughs> uh, the necessity of turning all or some of your notifications off on your phone. So the whole FOMO, fear of missing out, culture of needing to scroll endlessly through social media and immediately reply to notifications, because it's actually sort of proven to be really not great for your sort of mental health and well-being. Other than my dissertation topic, um, I'd probably do like a behind the scenes of the staff at UH, because I think students would be quite surprised to see what actually goes on sort of behind the scenes. So that'd be quite fun. So I wouldn't have said this ages ago, but um, now I definitely say to go to a cultural event. Um, I recently went to a Chinese New Year event at the university um, that was organised by the Xu Union, and I saw a dragon dance, and that was amazing. Like I've seen them before on different sort of social media and on the news and stuff, but I'd never sort of experienced that in person. So yeah, definitely go to like a cultural event that's maybe not the culture that you're used to. That'd be good. I mean, it's only in a few months time, but I definitely say graduating. I'm really excited, but I'm also super nervous of like tripping over on the stage or something, but I'm really excited because I'm so proud of like my personal achievements um, that I've done here at Hearts. So yeah, graduating. <laughs> sort of community feeling really, oh, that was going so well. It's <laughs> fine, it was going really well. <laughs> the sunshine. Um, oh, I'm going to have to do that again. I don't want to wear my glasses, but I can't see what's written down. <laughs> <laughs>